Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? Y seguimos aquí en Sintonía TIC. Este es el video podcast del Ministerio de las TIC en directo desde Colombia 4.0. Y este es el ecosistema, de, 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 la cumbre de ecosistemas digitales de Colombia y referente en América Latina. Tenemos un invitado de lujo. Vamos a hacer un esfuerzo, vamos a hacer una entrevista en inglés y en español para poder llevarlos a todos ustedes. Estoy con Daniel Lim. Daniel es... Él es el futurista de Salesforce, ya los vamos a, 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 a contar qué es eso. Y él ha sido, su enfoque principal ha sido todo el tema de la inteligencia artificial y cómo en la industria de la tecnología y la sociedad en general se están involucrando todos estos procesos de inteligencia artificial. Daniel, welcome to Colombia. Thank you, thank you for having me. Okay, uh, tell me about, this is the cool to the, tell me a couple of phrases that is Salesforce main propose. Yeah. Salesforce is the number one uh, provider for customer relationship yes. management software. So uh, what that means is that we provide yeah. our customers, big companies, small companies, startups, uh, governments, Start nonprofits, ups. anyone, mm -hmm. uh, to manage their relationships. So whether a company is managing the relationship with their customers yeah. or a government managing the relationship with their citizens or a startup with their partners, Uh, our software allows you to do that in sales, service, marketing, commerce, uh, collaboration, integration, you name it. it. But it's all in the cloud. We were born in the cloud, and that's, that's our ethos. What is, what is the important for EA uh, at the moment in the country? Uh, what's the important uh, of AI, in, AI. In, in the country? In the country, uh, in, in, the, in the country of Bay, in Colombia, for and example. In Colombia. I think AI, especially if you have phones or if you're connected, yeah. once you're connected, you have the potential of getting the superhuman power from artificial intelligence. Superhuman power. From very good practice. Yeah, from, from artificial intelligence. As a futurist, I think a lot about what's coming next. We see that, I see that in the future, mm -hmm. we're all going to have these autonomous agents or a personal digital assistant. Some executives, some government dignitaries have chief of staff or executive assistants, everyone's going to have one powered by AI. This assistant won't, will not sleep. It will continue to work when you go to sleep. It will summarize and do work for you while you're doing other things. So this is the superhuman power we're all going to get power. with AI. And everyone will be included in that as, as long as you're connected. What is the next step, step for the AI generative? Yeah. The next step, I think first is for everyone to try it. So if you haven't tried generative AI, yeah. you just got to try how it's going to give you that superhuman power. Because every person is different, right? They, they're both connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what's next, as I mentioned, is beyond just the gener generative AI being able to write emails for you, uh, answer right questions even. for you, yes. it's going to take action for you. So what you're going to be able to pretty soon... This is the next stop? Yeah, in the future. You're going to be able to talk to the AI and say, book me my next trip to Colombia. And it would go and book your flight, give you an itinerary, and take care of almost everything for you that you don't want to handle. So if you want to call up uh, a customer service, you're going to tell your AI to do it. Colombia is ready for the AI generative? generative? Oh, yeah. It's, it's easy to use. For what? Oh, for anything. You can ask it questions. Right? You have a question about, uh, you want to learn something. Instead of potentially going to a search engine, you can just ask AI, and it would give you similar information in your language, in the culture you want. Yes. Right? That is very special. What is your recommendation for Colombian people or business Colombian for the introduce to the AI or EA generative? Yeah. generative? Everyone needs to experiment with it and begin to try it so that they understand the powers that AI can give them. And then they need to think about, well, how they can they contribute to it. Right? Now, currently, a lot of AI is trained in English. It uses a lot of data that's in English. We need more contribution for all around the globe so that these yes. AI systems are more diverse and are able to serve the global citizens of the world. Do you think robots are going to invade us? No. Not anytime soon. That's my opinion. <laughs> Because I think that's a very human trait, right? To, to want to invade, right? AI is not taught to do that. I think there are, there are other risks, 
related to AI. It's not entirely accurate at this moment. There are some biases. It doesn't represent all, uh, 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 all, all parts of the regions of the world, all different people, because it's mostly trained in English so far. So those are risks, but the existential risks, I think we're quite away from, from that. This is a headline for this podcast. Bill Gates said the AI to replace humans for robots for different processes. What do you think about this? Well, I think in some tasks, yes. But the robots will, will take the jobs, the mundane jobs that we do not want. And I like to use the example. Bill Gates offers the spreadsheet, right? He's from, 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 from Microsoft. Before spreadsheets, there were accountants. But after the invention of the spreadsheets, there were actually more accountants, more jobs created. I see AI doing the same thing. With every technology, it's actually created more jobs, created new opportunities. Mm -hmm. One example I would like to give is that uh, before the cell phone, who would have thought of uh, businesses like Didi or Uber? But now there's full businesses for Didi. Automati and... uh, autonomy, uh, cars autonomy. Yeah, potentially autonomy, mm -hmm. right? But in the future, there are going to be new jobs that we haven't even thought of, mm -hmm. new businesses, new opportunities. And this is what every technology has given us. This sentence for uh, Bill Gates is true or is false? I think... Oh, it's only, only sentence it's for, incomplete. News, for news. It's incomplete. Incomplete. It's incomplete. For what? Because I described that there is a long history of technology driving down the cost of the service that it provides. By doing that, people want more of it. By doing that, as, as a result, then you'll have more opportunities, more people can get involved. Right? As more technologies, as we get access to the technologies, it creates new opportunities in the long term. Thank you, uh, Daniel, for uh, staying here. Thank you. Finally, what is your the best recommendation for uh, audience in this podcast for introduce to e AI in your life? Yeah, I think in his life. Yeah, I think the the, the most important. Uh, look at him. Look okay. The mm -hmm. Yeah, my recommendation to y'all is actually to try the technology use the technology and experiment with it because we're all going to use it very differently. Thank you. Bueno, eh, en Spanish, please. Muchísimas gracias a todos ustedes. Vamos a, eh, esperamos que estas grandes recomendaciones que nos dice Daniel para incluir la inteligencia artificial y pasar a la inteligencia artificial generativa en la vida es muy importante, por favor. Es una gran recomendación para todos ustedes. Directamente de un experto que viene aquí a Colombia 4.0. Seguimos conectados aquí en Sintonía TIC. No se pierdan más episodios de este video podcast y nos vemos en la web. Chao, chao. See you. Chao.